Are you guys familiar with a song, Let It Go, Let It Go, The Frozen, right? So today, that is our topic. And let go phrase is a very wide scope of subject. Then let, let me start with letting go of the things you don't need. Why? First, it occupies space, most especially when your place is not that big. Second, it consumes time and energy to clean it. Like for example, if you have too much shoes, too much um, purses or bags. For the celebrities, they might need it. But for us ordinary people, we only need few. That's my, uh, that's my thought but it's it's still up and to be a minimalist person and to be simple and learn how to share things with others and it will benefit people who needs your extra stuff like me one time i was um having a conversation with my colleague and i told her we we're talking about a lot of stuff and i told her oh i still need to buy blender and you know what because she said she has um, a blender that only sitting in her um stock room so it's spare so she gave it to me for free and um see sometimes um uh, giving away stuff or sharing it with others is an answer to someone's prayer. Remember, the more you give, the more you will receive. And it is the giver who is much happier than that. You are also allowing yourself to be an instrument of God's uh, extension of His love. And um, it also helps us to save money. Like for example, you will go in the mall and... Uh, you are uh, seeing things that you think you only want but you don't need it and by that let go and just uh, look at those stuff and run away from it by that you can save money and and also letting go of the stuff it helps uh, you're helping to be an environmentalist Remember, there are many manufacturing companies that are packing up because the demand of the world in material things is so much. Because of the massive production of these in the industries, it, um, it creates more pollution. Chemicals, many chemicals came from it and it harms our ozone layer. You might think that uh, does it matter? Yes, it is also biblical um, that uh, we have to be a good steward of all the things God has entrusted us. So there is always an accountability. Uh, first, let it go. Let go of the past event. Like for example, you applied for a job and you did not get it. That's okay. Um... For sure, God has a better plan. Always think that uh, in every rejection, God has a direction. And be better next time. Just learn from it and um, try to improve yourself. And the next one is let go of the negative people or toxic people because it will not help for your maturity and for your growth. They will just discourage you instead of encourage you. So they are not worthy of your uh, of, um, having a relationship with them. And the last one, let go of the failed relationship. That's life. And we cannot live in the past don't regret just learn from it and 
move forward. The next one is let go of the failed relationship. Uh, we cannot live in the past. Move forward. It is much better to learn from it than regret about it. There are many reasons why the relationship failed. Maybe your partner fall out of love. Then let him or let her go free. Don't insist yourself. Remember that um, before others respect you, you have to respect yourself first. And sometimes the failed relationship that causes infidelity. It that person is not being loyal to you, then let him or let her go because in the long run he will or she will do it and you will not you will never be happy having a unfaithful partner. And I'll share with you this Bible verse, Second Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. So, um, always be hopeful. Uh, please pray with me. Lord Jesus, we praise you, we glorify you, and we honor you. Lord, forgive us if we are still holding any grudges, any unforgiveness, resentment in our hearts. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Lord, thank you for helping us how to move forward, how to move on, and how to um, face um, the beauty of life with you, O oh God. Lord, thank you so much for being our Lord, our Savior. This is a pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, see you next time. This is Elaine signing off.